Hey guys, it's Phoenix. I'm on 16W38A. This is a new snapshot for 1.11. Just to let you guys know, because I've been getting this question quite a lot, I am not going to Minecon. In fact, I probably won't consider going to Minecon for a very long time. I'm just so busy. <laughs> As a law student, there are just so many things, so many obligations. So, uh, I'm going to be stuck here for a while, but I don't feel like it's that much of a loss. I won't be advertising PokeCA in Minecon. Um, if it gets big enough, I guess some people will spread the word there, but it's not really my concern. So, back on 16W38A. What we have here is probably one of the greatest updates in the world. <laughs> and I say that kind of loosely because this is a command that I think it's been a long time coming. This is a minor detail, but in every test world that I've ever made, I've always had to just do that weather change command. Now this command is going to put a stop to all of that. Just like the command for do daylight cycle, if you want the weather to stop changing, you plug in false. So we'll never switch over to a different weather pattern. So let's put that in, and if I press this button, okay that was just really coincidental. <laughs> it's actually gone, uh, I think it's clear now. Yeah, the weather's... Is the weather clear? I can't even tell. What is this? What is this weather? I have no idea. Um, huh. Did I just make it mid... <laughs> I think I know what I did. It's right now right in the middle of sun and rain. This is fog, essentially. You can, I just invented a new weather pattern. Fog. Credit. Patent it. Um, so... Okay, I guess what's happened here is, while I press this button, it's gone from, or well, switching over, it was in the middle of switching over, as you could see, and now it's somewhere in the middle. So, let's just change this back to true, and now it should return to sunny, I guess. Okay, let's do weather clear. Uh, weather clear. There we go, now it's actually clear. Yeah, okay, so it was, <laughs> it was right in the middle. So now what I want to do now is switch this over to false, press that button, it will be sunny forever. Don't need to do anything else. Okay, just to point out a minor nuance here. If your do weather cycle is false, you can still switch it over with commands. So let's do weather clear. That still happens. It's just stopping the natural change of weather. Pretty cool. And uh, I think a lot of map makers will love this command. No longer have to switch it over to weather clear. You just have this game rule to put a stop to all of that. Let's make it false forever. <laughs> okay, and the last major change for 16W38A is the new max entity cramming. This is a game rule that allows you to set the number of maximum entities in a certain block, so they all have to be crammed, and if it surpasses that value that you set here, the entities will start suffocating until the number of entities within that block has returned to that value set in this game rule. So let's put this into practice. What I have here is max entity cramming of one, and then if I start spamming these in here, I'll get to uh, I'll get to this, the chat message in a moment. It's a little randomizer I created with this concept. Uh, it's gonna keep suffocating until it reaches the number two, which is kind of funny because I guess what this is what this means. If you try to set it to one, it doesn't really make much sense because. If one entity is within a block, it's going to start suffocating against itself. That doesn't make sense because now, in a practical sense, every single entity in the world is going to start suffocating, right? Because it's at one, and you don't have to have another entity pushing you to suffocate. So, what I've done here with this little concept is I've created a randomizer. The idea is that it chooses, the game chooses a random entity, I think. So it chooses a random entity to suffocate. So if I place one down here, it's going to suffocate and choose a random entity to suffocate with this with this idea. So that means if I create a system that's going to randomly select one of these creepers and choose a random name for them or place a random score, if I begin spawning random creepers like so, it's going to output a random name uh, because it chooses a random creeper to kill. So that's really just a, a thing you can do, but the sense of it is you have this new game rule, which prevents too many entities from uh, being pushed into the same block. Now, just one more thing, if this is set to zero, it's going to remove the game rule. So you can have a million creepers 
whatever. If you want to cram them into one block, none of them will suffocate. I guess it just helps servers manage lag. I don't really know. But just to show you one more time, if I put the value to 10, press the button to activate it, uh, and I spawn 11 creepers in, they'll start suffocating. So I don't know how many there were. That's probably 11, uh, I guess. Yeah, there are 11 in there now. So if I add one more, it's going to start suffocating. And it chooses a random creeper, so you could see um, a lot of them were actually suffocating. If you guys enjoyed this update, I think one of the greatest changes in Minecraft is the do with a cycle uh, game rule. It's been a long time coming. I think a lot of map makers would have loved this earlier, but they've done it now. So Minecon, I guess, I think a lot of the 1.11 features will be revealed. And uh, I've heard word on Twitter that a lot of these changes are survival mode related, which I don't have a problem with. They've had a lot of changes to the creative mode uh, users, and um, I feel like it's time for me to catch up uh, once I finish Pokey CA. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more creative content. Thanks for watching. Take care.